What's going on everybody? Happy Sunday and welcome to November. We made it uh, another month down. It was a great month. A lot of amazing openings on this channel and a huge growth for this channel as well. Um, I want to thank everyone for showing all the support and let's see if we can do even better this month here. So I want to start this video off with one single card. All right, pretty nice looking card, right? Pretty awesome full art with all the babies there. Uh, I pulled this in the 300 sub celebration video. If you haven't checked that out, definitely go check it out. Um, it's from the GX All-Stars boxes that you can get. Absolutely beautiful card. And I was like, you know, it's very unique. I really, really like it. So that leads me into what we're opening today. So I went out to Target the other day while I was out and about, just kind of poking around, seeing what I could find. And I found this. And the name kind of just says it all. Small but Mighty Premium Collection. Look at how insane this is. I'm just stretching my arms out pretty far to get all this in here, but uh, yeah, it's got the baby Pokemon in there, which again, there is the English version of that same card. Uh, it's an alternate art from Cosmic Eclipse, uh, from that full art of the babies there. But there's 10 packs in this. There's that coin. There's like a little keychain thing in the pin. Um, the pack selection is <laughs> really unique, I guess. That's a good word to use it. We got X and Y all the way to darkness ablaze in here so be interesting to see uh what kind of luck we can get out of this uh, and like i say with a lot of these products majority of the money is into the packaging and the bonus stuff so if we can pull any good cards i'm totally okay with it but they went all out with this one like even the design on the side and the back looks absolutely amazing um and then that same design yeah on the sides as well so Really, really cool, but yeah, we're gonna crack into this today. Have a nice, relaxing Sunday and see what we can get out of this. Um, yeah, it was kind of unexpected. I was looking for Champion's Path stuff or maybe even some Darkness of Blaze stuff. And then I saw this humongous box with its very unique coloring and I was like, hmm, haven't seen that before. Uh, so I picked it up and, you know, put up on Instagram right away. And people were like, oh yeah, that's brand new. And uh, yeah, I guess I just haven't been out and about lately, so. Yeah, let's take a look and see what we can get in this humongous box. Um, it's cool to have both the English and the Japanese version of that card now, though, so that's going to be really nice to have for the collection. Let's pop this lid here. Oh, my goodness. Even the packaging has, like, that, that pinkish, like, salmon color. Really, really neat. All right. Come on. There we go. All right, so let's get this promo out here, and I'm going to give away the code card for this box a little bit later in this video. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, so here is the English version of this card. Again, looks absolutely amazing. Um, and just for a comparison there, there is the Japanese variant. So very, very nice cards there. Um, definitely gonna keep these two together. Maybe eventually I'll get both of them graded. What the hell, right? Okay, so move this off to the side here. All this plastic, gotta love it. Okay, so let's show off this keychain, which I'm not really a fan of keychains myself. Um, but really nice detail on this, and it's a little bit of raised. It's kind of like a got like a felt feel to it with a regular plastic backing on it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty nice. All right, uh, this pin, if I can get it out. Uh, let's do the coin first, I guess. So this coin's a really unique coin there. Again, it's got a little bit of that shine on it um, with all three of the babies on there. Really, really nice. Right, uh, let me take the packs out, and I'll just dump the packaging here and see if I can get this. All right, there we go. All right, so here's the pin. Pretty small pin. Uh, if you see like the tip of my finger there, it's extremely small, but it's gonna go on the little board I have with all my other pins. All right, move this off to the side and let's see what we got for pack selection. Uh, you guys know, like usual, we'll go um, oldest to newest. Um, that's usually how I like to do these. Um, I don't know, I'd say this is pretty decent. I mean, there's some stuff I'm not a huge fan of, but when you get huge bundles like this, like you just gotta, Hope for the best. So here's our pack selection. Yeah, I know. We're not starting off with the greatest here. But we got two Sun and Moon base sets, so that's not bad. Another one, you know, Crimson Invasion. Wasn't really the most popular set, but, uh, you know, it's still Sun and Moon. And then we got two Burning Shadows, so that's very nice to see. We got Sword and Shield base set, which I'm always a fan of. Rebel Clash, which I still need cards from. And then two Darkness Ablaze. So I think it's a pretty solid collection overall. I mean... Like I said, you're gonna have some uh, some dud packs that they're just trying to flush out of the warehouse. But um, yeah, for a 10 pack selection, I think that's a pretty good gambit and spanning over three generations here, uh, that's pretty, pretty awesome. So, all right, 
Before we get into that, I'm gonna give out some codes and kind of like the pack selection, these codes span over three generations as well. So we've got some Evolutions codes here. Uh, I was really hoping there was gonna be an Evolutions pack in here, but unfortunately there wasn't. I think that would have made this a lot better. But with Evolutions being ridiculously expensive now for some reason, um, I'm pretty sure someone would have just cracked this open and stolen it. So here we go. We're gonna start off with Steam Siege. Uh, again, definitely not a fan favorite, not a favorite of mine, but for some reason I've had some fairly good luck with Steam Siege over these openings, so maybe we'll get lucky here today. There is the code card for it if anyone wants that. Um, all right, but let's see. Three to the front for this one here, and the flip. All right, so we got that Clef Key. We have a Gardevoir. We have a uh, Duat with Clink and Mareep. Looks absolutely amazing artwork there. We got Bergmite, we have Fungus, Joltik, Bastion as the reverse, and that is a reverse rare. Really like that pattern on there. And behind that, nice shift tree. So we got a hollow out of our uh, our um, Steel, oh my goodness, Steam Siege pack. I almost called it Steel Series. <laughs> um, so yeah, not too bad, I'll take it. All right, move that off to the side here. Let's crack into the Sun and Moon base set. Um, yeah, you guys have to let me know what you think of this collection. Uh, if you think the pack selection is decent, um, and hopefully we can get some good pulls here. Uh, but yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm always excited to go through and read all of your guys' comments. So here we go. Sun and Moon base set. Pinsir, really nice artwork there. pick a -peck. Uh Meowth looking like he's up to no good. Sandile on Crab Roller. Drowsy taking a walk on the beach. Ooh. Dragonite, definitely one of my favorites, and it's nice to see this as the reverse. I do have the hollow, so I'll put that with it. And behind that, nice. So we're two for two for hollows so far. I'll definitely take that with the boy band Doug trio there. All right, move that off to the side. Into the next Sun and Moon base set. Um, yeah, I'd like to see, I don't know, out of all the packs that we have here, if we can get like, I don't know, like two ultra rares. Um, not being too greedy, but I think that's fair out of the selection that we have. Um, but if not, uh, you know, if every single pack just has a hollow, then, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Um, yeah, that thing is weird. Um, we have a Switch. We have Hypno on the beach. Snubble and Makahuda. Cutie Fly and Drowsy again. Rowlet, a Cloister as a reverse rare. So we've had all reverse rare so far. And behind that, nice. <laughs> Right on cue, Soul Galio GX. An absolutely beautiful card there. Um, it's in pretty good shape. Got some pretty decent centering there as well, so not bad. Um, yeah, it's nice to see we're actually getting some good hits out of these. Um, but I don't want to jinx it yet, and I don't want to get my hopes up. Um, that's why I said what I said in the beginning, you know, if we do get anything in here, it's all just bonus. Normally, when you pay for these premium collections, it's all the additional stuff, but that's where the value is. Um, but let's see what we have here. This is, and already the first card is wrecked. Okay, nice to see good old Crimson Invasion living up to its its name there. Um, four to the front for this Crimson Invasion pack. Let's see what we can get out of this one here, if there's anything. Uh, we have the Fanny pack there. We have Execute, we have Mincino and Nummel. We have Swinub, Mincino, which is a reverse common. And behind that, Another hollow, okay, nice. Red ice, very, very nice hollow there. So, okay, we're we're doing really good so far. And uh, especially on the packs, I didn't think we would get anything from. Um, I will gladly take that. Just moving some stuff around over here. All right, so now we're getting into the good stuff here. Burning Shadows, can we get anything amazing out of these two chances we have for Burning Shadows? Um, yeah, if we can, uh, this box is definitely gonna be I guess it's pretty unpredictable. Like I said, I wasn't expecting anything amazing out of this here, uh, besides the promo stuff. But uh, yeah, I think we're doing fairly well so far. So let's see what we can get. We got Cedra, Bodybuilding Dumbbells and Acerola. We have Pansage, Esper, Stuffle, a Mudbray, Tynamo, Lycanroc, which is another reverse rare. And behind that, <sighs> all right, so we broke the streak there with Ladian. Not bad though. Of course, it'd be Burning Shadows, like the one pack that I was really excited to open up, and it gives us garbage. But it's all right. We got another try here. Um, hopefully, we can get something decent out of this one. All right, so here we go. 
gonna slide off that code card there. Best of luck to whoever is getting these. Uh, and like usual, if you claim a code or two, you know, leave some for everybody else. I know there's people out there that, uh, you know, they're more casual uh, PT, PTCGO uh, players that they just grab codes when they can. And with the amount that I give out, I try to help out everybody. Gyarados, another reverse rare. It's insane. And behind that, ooh, <laughs> very nice. Okay. We got Necrozma GX there. Again, pretty decent shape there. But there's our second ultra rare, so I'll gladly take it. And another pack that had a reverse rare. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking too much into it, but I think that's pretty solid. Let me give out another stack of codes real quick. And here we go. We have Sun and Moon codes. Um, Should have gave these out when I was opening those packs, but it's all good. All right, some more codes there. All right, so now we're getting into the Sword and Shield stuff. We have one pack of Sword and Shield base set. Uh, a pack, or a, sorry, a set that I've completed, but I still love opening. Um, yeah, one of these days I want to, I don't know, I kind of want to do something crazy where I'll do, it's going to be like another long opening, but I want to do... I don't know, like a booster box worth of every um, of every Sword and Shield set so far. Uh, I know if I wait till the end of the generation to do it, uh, it's gonna be crazy expensive and I'll be broke. Um, but if I do it early on when there's only a couple sets, I think it'd be manageable. All right, so we have Mencino as a rare, and behind that, a Clay Doll. All right, so nothing from Sword and Shield base, but it's all good. We did get that water energy, so I'll take it. On to the next here, we have Rebel Clash. Again, another, uh, for, to me, it's another set that I really, really enjoyed from Sword and Shield. And I still need to pull some cards in this to complete it. Uh, let's see if we can get any of them here because we only have one pack of this. All right, another four to the front. And we have Olina. So this was the first Full Art Trainer and Rainbow Rare Full Art Trainer that I pulled from Rebel Clash. I uh, pulled them almost back to back uh, very early on in this set. So very nice to see. We have Meowth. A reverse gold nugget and behind that <sighs> all right Obama snow all right so nothing too crazy from rebel clash either but it's all good we're down to the good stuff here good old darkness ablaze with the Charizard pack but before we get into that I'll give out a couple more codes here I've got some sword and shield codes and again best of luck to whoever's getting these if people are curious why I do this here um, People do have bots set up where they can just auto scan all the codes, which I'm pretty sure people could still scan through this one way or another anyway. Uh, but it just, I don't know, it gives you guys a little bit more of a chance to, you know, people have to manually type it in, at least to my knowledge. Um, so yeah, that's why I do it that way. I know there's some videos where I don't, but uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I, I don't know, I'm doing what I can, especially because I, it, it is a little sad to see when people are like, yeah, you know, all the codes are gone within the first second of the video being up. And that's when I know that someone's obviously just scanning or, you know, they have an auto scan set up. But with that being said, sorry, I was talking and sleeving cards at the same time, try to fill up a little bit of that time. All right, so here we go. Darkness Ablaze. Let's see if we can get anything out of either of these two packs. Then we'll do our recap, which uh, I think we started off pretty well and kind of drifted off. Um which is unfortunate because I thought we were getting towards the better packs, but uh, it's all good. We'll do this recap and I'll send you guys on your way. So we've got good old Struggle Gloves there, Combuskin and Pupitar, a Starly and Aaron, Cub Chew, Rowlet, Jigglypuff, a Reverse Starly, and behind that, a Galarian Darmanchian. So I actually need this in reverse. Uh, that's only the second time I pulled that rare, which is kind of weird because it's, it's just a non-hollow rare. It's nothing crazy. Um, but yeah, here is the last pack here. Hopefully there's something in this pack here, but if not, I had a great time opening this. Um, this box kind of surprised me, I'll be completely honest. I didn't think we were gonna get anything, and uh, we turned out to get a bunch of good pulls from the packs that I kind of, you know, talked the most crap about. So here we go, last pack of the opening. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave some likes and some comments down below. Um, I always enjoy going through all that stuff, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hopefully this is the reason why. Pin Kirchen as the reverse. Nice. What a good way to end it with a Rhyperior V there. Very, very nice ultra rare. Um, yeah, not too bad. Definitely a solid way to end it. Um, but yeah, I think overall we had some pretty good pulls. I mean, uh, we got, what, six pulls out of, out of 10 packs, especially for that kind of, you know, 
randomness there out of the pack selection wasn't too bad. Plus we got the English promo card and now I have both of these here, so really, really nice to see there. Uh, and again, we got the really cool keychain. Um, we got this really, really nice pin. And of course, the coin that goes with this. So again, not too bad. Um, but let me give away one last code. Best of luck to whoever got that. Try to do it quick there. And uh, let's look at this recap. So yeah, three ultra rares and three hollows. That's not too bad. Um, so for the hollows, and again, out of Steam Siege, we got that hollow shift tree. We got the Alolan Doug Trio from Sun and Moon base set. And then we got Red Ice from, um, from Crimson Invasion. So again, the packs I, I didn't think were going to come through for us definitely did. So very nice to see that. And then our ultra rares, we got the Soul Galio GX from Sun and Moon base set as well. Very, very nice card. We got Necrozma GX from Burning Shadows. Always nice to see that. And Rhyperior V came to the saving grace at the very end for Darkness Ablaze. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this opening. Uh, again, uh, I found this over at Target, so if it's something you're interested in, definitely go check it out. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, I will be posting another video tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm just going to say we're going to start off November right. Uh, I've got a stacked week lined up for everybody, so hopefully you guys will enjoy the content. But that's going to do it for today's video. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.